Hi crowd, welcome to Society's Grip, the show where we use the comments section as a voting tool. If you would like to skip over to the voting portion of the video at any time, just click that vote button right over there. Today we are talking about this video. The night I first met Jacob, he told me what he and other children in northern Uganda were living through. We worry the rebel when they raise us again, then they, they will kill us. My brother tried to escape, then they kill using panga. They cut his neck. Did you see it? I saw. This movie expires on December 31st, 2012. And its only purpose is to stop the rebel group, the LRA, and their leader, Joseph Kony. And I'm about to tell you exactly how we're going to do it. If we lived in a black and white world, and if I was religious, I would I would say to everyone who is spreading this video like crazy, I mean the video has like a hundred million views and it's been like a week. Um, I would say to you all, honestly, God bless you. God bless you for bringing this problem to life, to light, and, and, and spreading awareness to this awesome cause that needs attention. But unfortunately, we don't live in a black and white world, and that's something a lot of people don't understand. My biggest problem with this whole Kony 2012 thing is, People spread it like crazy after watching that one video. People donated money to Invisible Children after watching just that one video. That concept to me shows me what I already knew. I knew a lot of problems in our society, but that is a big one. There is no reason at all why these many people that are into this Coney 2012 thing should have spread this video that crazily and be this into it without doing one ounce of research outside of what that video told you. And granted, this does not apply to everyone. I would say it probably applies to about 90 to 95% of the people who spread this video. So to the 10 or 5% of you who actually researched what this video was saying and still decided to support it, I, I honestly applaud you. I applaud you for doing the research. The biggest problem here, you cannot just take one video at face value and then blindly support it. You can't. The video, number one, was very biased towards its goal. Whatever its goal actually is, we don't know. There's not enough information out yet. But the video did not once talk about the ramifications of what can happen if we actually did exactly what they want. They were very biased on their information, and the video was just very gimmickly made to attack people's you know, soft spot, which is their heart. And again, this is just my opinion. And based off what I've researched, um, I have to say, I, I don't really support this cause. People from Uganda are now speaking out saying, what are, what are you talking about? This is not a problem right now. I mean, this, is, this was a problem maybe six years ago, um, but not now. I mean, he, we think he's dead. And the video made it seem like Uganda is, is this place right now, which it isn't. Invisible Children is known for being a very shady organization. I mean, the person who runs this company makes about eighty to $100,000 a year. I don't think someone running a non-profit uh, organization should be making that much off a non-profit organization, do you? If Kony is out there, I agree, he needs to be stopped. But I'm not gonna say, you know, the United States needs to be the world superhero and go solve and tackle every problem without understanding the consequences of actually doing that. Like I said in my last video, every action has a reaction. And unfortunately, we can't just go out and help everybody and make everything perfect because that could really hurt our country, that can hurt the people you care about in this country. In closing, what I've read still isn't that conclusive. We need more information that we don't have yet so my question for you is why is everyone getting so worked up about something they have no facts about it, it blows my mind and, and I get it I get it and I, and I love the fact that you you guys care so much and you girls care so much uh, about these children and about this evil man and want to stop him and that's awesome but make sure first that you're not being manipulated and, and it, it sucks that it happens in our world but it, it probably happens more than you think. And the last thing I'm gonna say is from what I've researched and from knowing how propaganda kind of works, I feel like Invisible Children knows they're exaggerating a lot and they made this campaign uh, for more attention towards their organization and 
That's just my personal opinion. If you feel strongly about this, I'm not telling you to drop it. I'm not telling you to stop sharing the video and whatnot. I'm just simply telling you, please just do research. So you, if I come to you in the streets and you go, support Kony 12, and I go, hey, what are the ramifications of us supporting Kony 2012? You can actually answer it. Um, because blindly supporting something that seems right can lead towards bad paths. I know this video might be kind of uh, scattered. Uh, I probably should have been more professional and kind of talked this out within myself uh, a little more instead of exploding on my camera. Uh, but sorry, this is what you get. <laughs> Today's other grips are brought to you by Facebook. If you would like to maybe be in the next episode of Society's Grip, feel free to add me on Facebook. The link is in the description box below. And now it's time for the voting, everybody. If you think Invisible Children is sincere with their message and their campaign of Kona 2012, and it's not to bring attention towards their charity and, and money inside their pocket, but it's for Good. It's for good. Um, give this video a uh, vote A if you think it's the opposite and they're doing this just to bring attention to their charity and to bring more, uh, more money in their pockets. Uh, give this video a vote B. Uh, thank you guys so much and girls for watching the video. Also feel free to post this video on your Facebook page or your Google Plus or your Twitter and see what your friends have to say. Uh, if you want to see my last video where I was ranting about uh, my dislike currently for Chris Brown, feel free to click this video up there. And if you would like to see a random rap video, a cover of Pale Kid Raps Fast, feel free, it's down there. And uh, the next video is either gonna be a comedy video or it's gonna be a, uh, another rap. I'm, gonna, I'm covering, I was requested to cover that Pancake song by uh, Mac Lethal, uh, but to make it sexy. But it was a guy who said it, so <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not gonna be in a Speedo or anything. Not that that's even remotely sexy, at least not to me, you know? <laughs> uh, I don't really know how to transition myself out of this. Yeah!